steamy South Florida, the only place in the world where you find alligators and crocodiles. But while the gator is pretty common in these parts, the croc is a rare sight. It's not that hard to tell them apart. Crocs are a lighter color. Their snouts are longer and narrower. And even when their mouths are closed, you can see their teeth. Both can be quite aggressive. But for decades, they have been the ones in danger. The Everglades, that famous river of grass, is today just half its original size because of development and pollution. Restoring what's left and protecting coastal estuaries is critical to the croc's long-term survival. Crocodiles may be the biggest predators in South Florida, but they're no match for man. It's up to humans whether the population continues to rebound or goes the way of the dinosaurs. Just a generation ago, the chances of locating a crocodile in Florida would have been slim. Numbers were low and nests were few. Today, the odds are much better. There are more than twice as many crocodiles, and a whole new generation is poised to propel the species into the future.